Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. We meet for our first training video. The topic of this video is the seven tools of quality control. We choose this team based on your votes. And just before starting, I would like to thank you all for your positive reactions and for your encouragement for our training channel. Thank you so much. In this video, we will introduce you to the seven quality control tools or the seven quality tools of Ishikawa. The seven quality tools are tools that are generally used to solve quality problems or to improve quality. And for that, some, some of these tools are used first to collect the data. And after the data collection, other tools are used in the data analysis to come up after with uh, some effective solutions to our quality problems. So here is a preview of what the quality tools are all about. So we have the Ishikawa diagram, Pareto diagram, flow chart, scatter diagram, check sheet, control chart, and histogram. For each tool, we will give a simplified definition and when we use this tool and how to use it. So we will start in this video with check sheet or checklist. And we will see the other tools in the next videos to better detail every tool. The checklist is a quality control tool which has for main purpose the collection of information the collection of data and in terms of quality we have two categories of data the attribute data which is data that uh, can be quantified that can be counted and that can be illustrated as for example in uh, indicators the second category of data is continuous data which can be measured length width etc for example uh, measurement of physical aspects of any component. So, taking the example of countable data, the recording defect, we have here the types of defects, defects number one, de defect two, and so on, as you can see. And we have the number of defects that we have detected per day. For example, on Monday, we had 10 defects of uh, the type of uh, defect 2. As we said earlier, this, this checklist will help us to collect the data, to bring them together in order to analyze them in an efficient manner. So from this checklist we see that at the end of the week the total of the highest defects is uh, defect 2 and defect 3 so subsequently we will focus on these two defects and analyze them analyze what caused these non-conformities the, these uh, defects and conclude their root causes in order to be able to give effective solutions to reduce the rate of defects or to eliminate these problems. So that's what a checklist is for. I hope this video was beneficial for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in comments or contact us in trainingglobalquality at gmail.com. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.